All right, so we've got the general slideshow working. Uh, the next thing we want to do is make the individual interactive elements each work. Okay, so I'm going to close these out for a little bit here. We'll bring them back open in a second. Now, if you recall, each one of these is an individual um, slide, right? So basically, these are just little compositions inside a larger composition. So um, let me show you a timeline. I'm just going to double click on the first one. We'll just use the first one as an example. I'm going to double click on it, double click on it, and I have it locked. <laughs> double click on it. Uh, okay, so here is all slides, right? So they're all available here. So I'm going to click on this one, double click on it again. Now I am in slide one, right? We're in the scene, in all slides, in slide one. And once again, like I said before, I have a background and I have um, the interactive part. All right, so what I want to do is take the background. I'm just going to lock that. It was locked before anyway. I'm going to take the interactive one, and that's going to be my button, okay? So am I in, you don't have to make it like a character. You could just have a button here that says play the scene or something. You can make whatever you want as a button. I'm just going to make the character itself a button because it'll make it a little bit easier. All right, so with it selected, just go modify, convert to symbol, and we're just going to call it slide. Zero one, um, button underscore btn. Okay, uh, let's put an underscore in slide one. I don't know. We'll call that good and call it a button. All right. All right. So that is what we're going to use, and you're going to see we're going to do this exactly the same way that we already did it. Now, if you recall in the example, um, the way it is that we click on the button. And you see, I have different states. So when you hover over it, it does that. And when you click on it, um, well, that's not really the, the clicking. I don't have anything for clicking. I just have a hover, OK? So I have different states. So you'd want to do kind of the same thing. Have some way of over, down. You don't necessarily have to have down, but some way that when you have hook over that you know that it's a button, right? Some sort of obvious way. Um, OK, so what I'm going to do is uh, that's my button. Oops. All right, and what I want to have happen is if you look at the thing, right, a car drives by. So uh, again, this is just as an example, I'm going to make a, a new layer and I'll just call this like, um, you know, uh, we'll call this the, uh, yeah, I'll call it the animation. Okay. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take, um, yeah, we're going to take uh, these and uh, I don't know how long I want it to take. Let's say it takes one, two, let's say it takes three seconds. So I'm just going to go like this, and I'm just going to extend all these. So I just click and drag down, right-click, and insert keyframe. Not keyframe, sorry. I'm just going to hit F5. Okay, but it's right-click, uh, insert frame. All right, so now this goes that long, all right? So I have the interactive. Um, that's my button. What I want to have happen is that when you click on it, we're going to have an animation going across. So I'm just going to make a, a car. We're going to call this my car. Uh, let's just go here and we'll just do uh, a, a white car. So I'm just going to draw the car off screen like so. And we'll call this um, uh, Q. And I'm just going to, can I do this? Oh, I can. Okay. So we're just going to call this our car driving across. So imagine this is the car. So I'm just going to grab that because in order to make it animated, I have to... Um, have it go across, right? So I'm just going to have that selected. Uh, I'll just hit F8 or modify convert to symbol. This time I'm just going to switch it to a um, movie clip and we'll just call this slide 01 um, anim underscore MC. Okay, so for animation. All right, and I'm going to move this to the base of the object. All right, and I actually made that on the interactive layer, which I did not mean to. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to control X. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit Control-Shift-V. That means paste in place. Control-V will paste it in the center of your screen. Control-Shift-V pastes it where it was. All right, so now it's on that layer. So all we're going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to make sure it's off screen because I don't want to show up here. So we're going to start off with it off screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and we're going to go create motion tween. Okay. And what I want to have happen is I want to click on this. It's going to go across. So what I'm going to do is on frame two, I'm going to put it up here. So it's just going to jump up. It'll be off screen though, so you won't see it. And then I'm just going to have it go across. So I'm just going to go to the end here and have this go around. And it should probably also be scaled down a little bit like so. So it will go like that. Um, let's have it right in here. I'm just going to move it up a little bit so it goes kind of around my guy. And I'm going to put the animation behind the interactive so it looks uh, like it's behind him and uh, 
right here we'll also move it up a little bit because you're still getting kind of there we go so it'll go like this all right so if we were to preview it it's just going to look like this thing going around okay that's that's the idea now um if you want like so with this right now the i have that button there uh, if I want it to be that when I do the animation that it's something different, what I could do is right here, I'm just going to right click and do um, insert blank keyframe. Okay, so now it's not there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into here, I'm going to select it here so that it's the same just to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to go here, hit control shift V, and then I'm just going to paste this picture there. So you can see it's a little bit off, so I'm just going to put the onion skinny. And I'm just going to try and match it up to that guy. Okay. Turn onion skinning back off. And then you can see. And then I'm just going to basically take it so that he looks sad like he did in the thing. Okay. So basically, after you click the button, it's going to go like this. And it's going to go around just like the other one was. Okay. So you could put an animation up here as well. So if I wanted to animate, I'd have to convert this to a symbol. Um, well, let's just do that. Actually, I'll just right click. Um, oops, we gotta make it into a symbol. I'm not gonna bother. So I would just animate it going up and down, right? And then just make them look like he's sad. All right, so it drives across. I'm just gonna do the same thing we did before. So just whatever you want your animation to be, just on the first frame, it's gonna look like the still, and then you're just gonna do an animation on the second frame and beyond. So what we gotta do is this, click on the first frame. We're gonna go, I'm gonna F9 to open up the action. It's also window action. Click on this for code snippets. Click on this. We're going to go to timeline navigation, stop at this frame. So we want it to stop on the first frame so it does not move forward. Then what we're going to do is we want this, when we click on it, to play. So we're going to go ahead with this. I don't. I didn't give it a, a, a um, instance name. We'll just call this slide, oops, I hit caps lock again. Um, slide 01 button, we'll say. Just needs an instance name. Okay, then we're going to have that selected. Double click on this. And then now, oops, let's not do it that much. Okay. And once again, we just want it to play. So it's going to be this dot play and remove the five. Okay. So now when we go to play it, it'll look just like it did before. If I click on this, it's just going to go frame to frame. Okay. But you'll see when I hover over this, it's now a button. When I click on it, it's going to go ahead and play the animation. And then it will stop at the beginning again. And because I didn't make it a button still, it won't be able to restart until it's complete. But I can also just go to the next one. Then you would just do the same thing basically for all of them. Um, and that is the rough idea. So um, hopefully that makes sense. So basically, once you have that kind of layout, I'm just going to close this out. It's all the exact same thing as when we did on the first one. You're just going to make a button that you click on that says play, right? The first frame. So we'll just... I'll just use this as an example. So we're in this one, right? So you're just going to go to the next one again. I'm just, you just need to make something a button. So I'll just, I would just make this guy a button. Okay. And then uh, you'll go, uh, and then um, you'll decide to make an animation. You'll have it that on the first frame, you just say stop, you know, um, you do stop at this frame on here. And then you'll just have this, that when you click on it, it does this dot play. So you just do, you know, this to go to frame and play. And then that will play the animation that you have here. And then it will just go back and stop again. And that's all it is, which is really kind of the same thing that this is here. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But now what you want to do is you have this general layout. So what you're going to want to do is go into these. Um, I mean, all slides. Go into this slide. Take this background, wherever it is, this background. Delete it. Draw your own. Draw something nice, whatever you want your background to be. Take the button here. You can just go right inside of it, delete it, make your own character, and you're over and down, okay? Um, and then, you know, do your animation, whatever you want it to be. And you're just going to go through and basically do that for all of them. So just your own drawings inside of here. But um, we already have all the oops, we already have all the slides set up. So you're just going to go to the slide to see background, interactive, yada, 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 and then background, interactive, and then that's what the final project is going to be. So try to do something. Have a cool style. Um, I don't care if you do, draw, do drawings in a different program, bring it in here, like Photoshop or something like that. You can do that as well. Um, but that's the idea of it. So make something fun. And you can do more than three slides if you want. That's fine. Um, feel free to do any sort of interactive thing that you want to do. If you want to try and go nuts with it, go for it.
Uh, we did cover a little bit of like how to do some other interesting things. So if you want to try and apply those, that would be fine as well. Um, good luck.